The show started. <laughs> yes. No, no, no. The show's finally starting right now. Oh, fuck Night you. attack <laughs> on the air. Night attack is happening. Keep on, on rocking in the free world. Right now, we're going to talk to you. Woo. Tell some racist Keep jokes in and some free top world. molesting jokes. Get right. tried taking off the internet. <laughs> hey guys, That's it's Brian Brushwood, uh, live in studio with Justin Robert Young. Hi Justin, how are you? Well, <laughs> fuck my butt. <laughs> I will we not are, uh, uh, it's a figure of speech. That's Jesus, don't make it gross. Right. Look, uh, figure uh, please. <laughs> See? <laughs> What's that? What? See, it sounds good when you say it, Brian. He, he, he said it was a figure of speech. Man, I don't no. Understand. Hey, Brian, Brian, I'm going to give you a. See, I'm gonna, I do this to everybody. Put it around the spot. I'm going to give you one nigga. No, right no. Don't <laughs> take it, take, Brian. Take don't it, take it, Brian. Don't take do it. it. No, I will not. Don't take it, Brian. Hold on. Wait a minute. This obviously de- obviously terrible trap of a racial you, ploy you has have been nothing to gain from this, Brian. Lit into action by our guest today. That is Corey Coleman. Brian. Martin Martin. I speak for the Negroes. He I does give not. you a pass. He does not. Don't do it, Brian. You will regret it. You <laughs> shall pass. Jerome, Jerome is lit up. Don't it's do a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what the giant koi fish says, it's a trap. That's hey, right. don't, don't offend me with your ninjas and your figures. Figure, please. <laughs> well, wait, 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 no, wait. Just go all the way with it. Wait, I, why would I do such a thing? Oh, my good God, Brian. Do not entertain him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> However, <laughs> yes. Like, like I'm juggling for <laughs> him. No. Do, do, do not substitute ninja or longer. figure. <laughs> Listen You've to them, Brian. you got to ignore his kind. His kind being the intrusive co-host that <laughs> likes to make racial Yeah, what do you jokes. mean by my kind? <laughs> Justin? Anyway, no, Brian, I'll leave I'm, it to you. I'm, I'm pulling you down the street. Yeah. Just don't pay attention yeah, to yeah. him. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I have a show to do. Welcome yeah. to Night Attack, beautiful people. It's you gonna go, let him night. talk to you like that? What? So I'm letting you go, Brian. What? Hey, Brian. What? Nigga, please. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You fell into it! God damn it! God damn it! We heard you say it, Brian. <laughs> all right. You killed That's me. That's bullshit. We heard man. what you said. Uh, first of all, t- uh, talk about your new project, right? Yeah, uh, we double were calling toasted. it. See, you know, double toasted. com, man, is about to go live in June. Wait, so you're not like, but you're doing the podcast now already? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're we're on SoundCloud it. doing our podcast. What three, four times a week? We got, we got we got two free forms and two to three movie reviews every week. Yeah. Now, okay. So how how movie review centric is the new show? Well. About okay, well, let me, like, now here's what I need to tell everybody. Now really where now it's real. Because I, I got the schedule down. He okay. don't hold the full schedule yet. I was only oh. really cutting you off. Oh, 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 well, <laughs> let, let, me, let me kick back and, and no. find out with the rest of you guys. No. So when we start in June, we have a full flex schedule. Full, I can't even say the word. Full flex schedule. <laughs> yeah, a full yeah. flex schedule for content every day. Now, I haven't thought of Saturday and Sunday yet. I'm pretty sure that I got those covered. But right now, Monday through Friday, you will have three podcasts, two of them being the conversational podcast that we do Fridays or Thursdays, probably mostly on Thursdays will be, hello, will be the movie review podcast. During those times, there might, now there might be, I've been entertaining the thought of a cooking show to put up just as some real oh. innocent content. People have asked me several times. Yeah. On Wednesdays, I'm thinking about putting up a cooking show. Not every Wednesday, probably twice a month. And on top of that, every day we'll do sort of our own take of a news segment. Most of it will probably be entertainment news, but what other things thrown in? You have written news probably in four spots along with an audio component to it. So how, how often are you guys going to do a uh, fishing segment on the show? Every day. <laughs> Every day. Got Every day, because that's what old Negroes do. Minute. They like to go out and fish. All right. And we're going to teach you how to barbecue, too. All right. And on New Year's, we'll teach you how to cook pig feet and chitlin. All right. <laughs> God damn it. We've been doing very good on SoundCloud, and we want to thank all the people out there who no have kidding. been listening. You guys have been awesome. We've been hitting up to, like, after about 24 to 48 hours. Thank you so much. We've been pushing 20, near 20,000 listens on, a, on the SoundCloud, which means that when we get to the site, we hope that you bring that kind of love there, especially when there's stuff going on every day. And I just want to let people know that all the stuff that you were used to us doing before is going to be free. We will have premium paid content, but we're going to make that stuff worth your while. You don't have to do it, but we got to support the business. But if one you're a super another. fan, you're going to want to get in on that because yeah. you'll have the exclusives that nobody yeah. else has. Well, let, let me just Am say wrong? this. They, they, Stop I mean, me like, from wrong. You're not wrong. Like, you're right. They're, uh, I'm glad you guys are doing stuff, uh, obviously, other than just the movie reviews. There are few people that I think are as durable and electric as personalities as you guys are. 
either separate you or know, together. But it was, it I is... would say the same thing about you and Brian before we walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? But also, hey, let's take a moment right now to publicly thank Brian for giving you the inspiration Brian, to keep going. And you thank you. You jumped ahead. To keep going. But, what? But no, Brian, I got, this is where I get, this is, this, welcome to Kiss Brian's ass. God this damn is the it. second don't, one of the show. Because Hollywood.com no, has knocked his dick no, in the no, dirt. No, 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 you can't say <laughs> that. You no, can't say that. First of all, I'm not saying that. Shit gets real right I'm not saying that. I'm all down with this. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all because we worked for a company before, and I have no problem oh, yeah, with no, no, no. it. Oh, yeah, first of all, first of all, the, the, the whole thing is, is Hollywood.com, not your dick in the ground. You're like, I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is we worked for some company before, <laughs> and things went south. No. Look, I'm not, look, I'm not saying they did anybody wrong. Man, Brian, don't saying, put, I mean, Martin, don't put me in this position. No, no, I, no, look, look. All I'm saying is when, when things went down as the way they did, you were, you were kind of down for a while. No, I was not. I was ready to move on with <laughs> was, my life. I was happy we you got You were ready canceled. to move on with your life. I was happy that they, <laughs> look, they shut look, everything let me, down. Look, let me say this because you better get Because I'm trying not to say anything <laughs> bad. You got to understand. I'm not saying anything bad about them. I'm just saying you were at a low point and Brian came in and gave you the inspiration you needed to point you in the right direction. Not exactly correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian told you some shit that was no, completely wrong. No, 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 no. I, I, I always have a plan to do something. I was, I was, I tell you why. You, this whole episode is a great fucking lesson in yes and. Yes. <laughs> yes like and, in, in, and in fucking opposite Brian, world. Brian, you won't come up. But let, let me just say this. All right. We have a large fan base, and I was sorry that they didn't have what we were giving them anymore because they expressed that disappointment. Yeah. Now, let's get to... Kiss Brian's ass, and yes, I will happily do it. Shit, put some lipstick on me. You find marks all over his ass no, cheeks. No, no. I'm going to tell you something. Brian, you, I will do anything for you, man, because I was, and I was feeling down. No, you're right about it. I was feeling down. I was like, man, we had, <laughs> but it has, it has a long to way be to a, get there, but you're validated. But you have to say it it has to be in my words. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. My words, okay. Brian, my all words. Right. All right. Okay. But I was feeling a little down because I was like, man, this is this, this just is a waste of this, 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 this these supporters that we have. You call me up. Less than 48 hours after that happened, after everything was shut down, and you said, let's talk. You are the one that gave me the inspiration to keep going. You are the one that gave me the plan to keep going. You are the one that told me the details on how it will succeed. But f fuck me. Okay. Brian's the one that did I, this. I, I would like to ap publicly what? apologize for getting out there and saying it completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But 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 Brian yeah, is yeah, a, it's a bastardized Brian. You are my coach, and Brian, you said, look, I, I I would hate to see this go away. Go and do something different so that it doesn't conflict with what you did before. And you show me how to do it, man. And you you coach me every step of the way. Everything that we have going on here is because of Brian's. All right, whatever. Because of his I can't take that. Yeah, it's yeah. Too much. Brian, I can't. it's too much. I I washed Brian's car today. Wait, no, stop talking. I I played with Brian's balls today. God damn it! All right, because Bri he needed. Brian that. did everything that was important enough to get things going without actually earning any royalties for or what we do. Or doing anything that you would do not ask for a true friend so, right, than this fine. motherfucker right here. All right, you are, listen to me. This is the most decent oh, man stop, in my stop life talking, that I've stop ever talking, met. Stop talking. All right, here's the important thing. So so it's called uh, Double Toasted, and uh, is the website up? Is there something up? When and will it be up? June. June, there will be a website. It'll be up in June. Double Launch toasted. party, July 4th. DoubleToasted.com? DoubleToasted.com. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, but uh, July 4th, we will be part of RTX, the Rooster Teeth Expo, and that's when we'll have our launch party. I was thinking, uh, okay, first of all, you guys you guys did RTX before. And, yes, and, last year. Uh, you guys basically folded Spill.com. Con into a segment like a subtrack of yes. RTX, right? Uh, that seemed like a pretty good deal, and and we were we were talking because you know we talked about doing the Diamond Con idea, and it, it occurred to me like like if we could be part of like a, the Rooster Teeth organization, like we would love to get people coming in. come and do it. This is what I'm trying to plan on doing. I would I, I hope that I can have a day right now, and I have to thank Rooster Teeth. They came in and they said they they, they emailed me and said Corey, you know, come back. And I thought I had screwed up last year. <laughs> I thought they would never talk to me again. But they said no. Last year was kind of cool. Come back this year. We'll give you. We'll give you a booth. We'll give you a panel. And they said that I just got confirmation that they said they would promote the launch party. And what I'm asking for right now, I said, give me a day. I'm not asking for a full weekend. Give me a, give me a room for a day. We could do a costume contest. We could actually do a talent show that was really fun. We could I, do our, our talent show was awesome last and year. And we could also bring you in, Brian, and have, you know I wouldn't mind doing what, what, whatever you'd like to do. It would be it would be a blast. And it's the, hey, you know what? That's the least I could do for you. 
All right. The least. <laughs> and that's all I'm willing to do is the least. And that's all I can do. <laughs> uh, no, dude, that's awesome, man. Well, congratulations on the launch of everything. Uh, and uh, I guess just doubletoasted.com. Is there any... Is there any place to sign up for future updates? Do you have like an email list? Well, look, or anything? right now we're, we're posting everything to SoundCloud. Look, look for Corey Coleman on SoundCloud. You'll find all K O R E Y yes, Coleman. Yes, and you'll find all the podcasts we, we're doing every week now. Uh, I don't know. You, are you still updating the Kickstarter page? I, you know what? I, I have not because I've been updating the Facebook page, which everybody sees. But I just shot a video with the development company who's doing this, who, who was working on the site. And I was going to edit that tomorrow, but I got to go defensive driving with this boy right now. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So tomorrow, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, Sunday, I will have this video up and I will put that on Kickstarter and Facebook. And I'm sorry if the people who are listening to this might have contributed to Kickstarter and haven't seen me updating because I've been updating pretty frequently on Facebook a yeah. lot. There's, there's a lot going on. I just finished the studio space that we're going to have to record in. It's so, really cool. Yeah, yeah. So now, for all wait, you wait, sons wait. of bitches out there who think I just ran off with the money, fuck you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that we didn't contribute to restoring a turtle's dick. <laughs> but we're actually building a, a website. Okay, I missed the whole turtle's dick thing. I've seen people reference it, but I don't know nothing about it. Well, there's some guy in England who got he, he inherited a turtle but that has problems with his penis. All right. And it needs, a, it needs a, a penis replacement. But it's not quite old enough yet, so he, he did a Kickstarter or some kind of crowdfunding for it. And he's asking for about five hundred, between five hundred and fifty dollars for it. All right. Uh, and we we talked about it on our show what's last he up, time. What's he up to? He's up to like three million. There, well, I, well, I don't. Like I have any track what he's up to. Let me just say he's up to too much for a turtle's dick. Yeah, he's, he says he says if he gets more, he'll donate it to charity. Which we're like, fine, it's it's laughable, or whatever. But this one guy's like, well, at least that's hypocritical since you guys did a Kickstarter and you talking about this guy oh, I who did about this. this <laughs> Right here. Somebody got mad at me because I made fun of a turtle dick. And he's like, well, at least he's doing something. You didn't do nothing with your Kickstarter money. <laughs> Bitch, I built a fucking website. <laughs> he wants to get he wants to get that two inches to a turtle's dick. And we don't even know if he's gonna give that money to the turtles. Fuck dick. you. Who does <laughs> man? That's somebody starting trouble. I mean, I, like, they would probably have to update the site. Right? Like with turtle dick pics? Well, you don't have to. <laughs> like you're buying something for your money. Fucking actually, that that's what true. you do is you make If you're it, into turtles dicks. You got to make it a money maker. The problem is, like right now, that dick is a taker, and it needs to be a maker. You fucking post turtle dick that. pics, and then that shit can be money. That's the goddamn magic mic of turtles right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, tortoise. Somebody corrected yeah, me. That's on. true. That's true. He's a tortoise. He's a, not a turtle. He's a tortoise. Excuse me. Well, tortoises are turtles. I'm sorry. I guess it's, one dick is harder like, than the like other. It's like genus turtle, which a tortoises are. Don't part nobody of. give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I, I, so I, think, you, I think the tortoises do. You guys, you guys are hard at work on the new site. I'm yes, sure. we are. But uh, but in the meantime, what, what uh, the fuck's going on with you guys? What do you mean outside I mean, of like, the website? Yeah, outside of that. Uh, or hey, unless, man, like, we, we got Kickstarter money. Time. There's nothing else going on with us. That's all we do. <clears throat> me, <clears throat> man, you know me. I'm out here running these hoes. You know? <laughs> well, right. No, I'm kidding. Right. No, yeah, I, 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 I know. He's like, he was like, all right, I'm done with you. You know what? You know what, man? I will but, say but this. You get that demeaning like you shaking peanuts in your hand. I know. <laughs> Shit, I'm out here running, do, doing me, doing my thing. No, let me give you a serious answer, Brian. No, no, to let you know what's going on, I'm doing two things. I'm going to tell you something real. I'm going to tell you something nerdy. All right. On the real shit, I am out there. I'm working all my, uh, my, almost all my waking moments, I'm working on getting the site done. He's out there in them screets. In them screets, eating them scrawberries and scrimps, getting scrimp done. <laughs> no, right. I'm out there, no, I'm out there working on this site. That's, that is priority number one. When I catch a break, here's the nerdy shit. I'm consumed by Dark Souls 2, the <laughs> game. That's true. That game, I can't, I, I'm sorry. I know I talk about you, Marv, for being a nerd, but I'm nerding out like a motherfucker on that oh, shit. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, wait. Explain, I, I don't know shit yeah, about Dark Souls Let me explain, too. you're explain, right. I don't, I don't like to go. Explain to me. Yeah, I, I don't explain. know anything about Dark Souls Let me explain. Too. Dark Souls is a video game, obviously a sequel, and the reason why I'm playing this game is because I heard it was the hardest, one of the hardest games out That's there. That's the only thing I know about it. Is yeah. like ah, it's so hard. So wait, what is like what kind of game is it? It's man, it's an RPG adventure, medieval fantasy bullshit. Okay, you know that's, some, a, that's what the tagline says underneath. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, no, I, I, no, I want to see like old, I, I, it's, you, it's you, totally guys, the kind of thing that if he saw you doing it, he'd have all day to make fun of you doing it. I would. 
So how did you fall into it? What was your gateway because I, drug? Because I like video games. I mean, a lot of people don't know this about me, but you know, when I have the time, I, I and I'm not, I'm not saying this like, like, like the, like those arrogant you are nerds truly out there. A three I am a dimensional personality. Yeah, yeah, I am. No, I'm, I'm not one of those nerds that they was like, you know, I'm a true gamer. I'm not like you. No, I'm not. But I do play a lot of games. By the way, your impression of white people is as good as my impression of black people. I know I it's horrible. For the record, it's horrible. So why don't why don't that was your white, white person white talk people. to his black person about <laughs> Dark Souls too? And you know, son, you seen. Brian, well, let me. If shit, I may speak Negro, in your that's language, that's all you had to say. <laughs> if we can meet middle ground here, I'm going. That's all there is to it. We can bring stereotypical black and white together if we meet mid ground right here. No, man. To be fair, all it's the one that says "bad motherfucker" on it. All, all, yes. all, all Corey knows about white people is from watching The Big Bang Theory. Oh, gosh. And having sex with them. <laughs> I apologize. That's, that's good. Because, that because all I know about black people is for watching old I know Al lo- Jolson cartoons. <laughs> I, I know a lot about white work. women. I can't speak on black <laughs> uh, 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 white man too much. I'm a black man for that reason. No, it, the reason is it's a hard game. I won't go into details, but b- being that, you know, I love games. Th- you know, you fucking geeks out there, you put this shit out there like a challenge. Oh, Hey, man, by a- the way, that's our word. You don't get to throw that <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on. I'm sorry. You geek a rose out there. <laughs> you you <laughs> geekish Americans. You, 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 you got to change it up. You got to call them Jeeps or something. Yo, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, how can I change that up? Uh, you popular culture inclined Americans out there. That's funny. Uh, Crash uh, Kincaid says Dark Souls is hard, but it always makes you feel like you fucked up when you die. <laughs> Is that it true? does. <laughs> no, it does. And that's the thing. Fuck the game. The fucking community out there makes you feel like they say, oh, that, you know what? That's too hard for you. You ain't real that you play this shit. Oh, oh shit. You, and this is what I hate because I, I, don't, I don't know why. And I know I shouldn't let it get to me. I hate two words. I hate noobs and casuals because that's some shit I can never catch the people saying that. Wait, you know, I caught him saying, that. "I'll beat your fucking ass." If you said that to me. Okay, but, but but like it just shows up in the chat room. Like right now, if everyone so in the why, chat why were to call you, you a noob sensitive casual, about it, like, I don't know because I because I tell you why because I've been play, <laughs> because I've it, been playing games since 1984. I'm no noob at this. Because it feels like you're like you really like it's like this is a sore spot for you. Like at some point, like there was a tender moment when somebody poked their finger in with noobs or casuals, and and you're carrying that burden. You're with right. You. You're right. You know, I should not feel so strongly about those words. Man, quit fucking around. And just hire a 13 year old to beat that level. I can't for you. do that <laughs> shit. No, no. But here's where it's going. Because actually, in your defense, you can actually say the N word in, in Xbox chat. And like, I thought you meant noob. As <laughs> opposed to the rest of That N word. <laughs> Any and all, baby. Pick it from your quiver. I think I hate noob worse than nigga today. I, I, I'm, I'm just going to tell you. But they, they put it out there as a challenge. I heard all these people say, game not hard. If, you, if you're a casual, then this is not for you. And I'm like, I ain't no fucking casual. <laughs> Talk to me like that. So I went and bought the game. And... I'll tell you what. So wait, thing. you bought this game on because a challenge from a random third-party pe- review. From probably some 13-year-old, 13-year-old who don't even know. A 13-year-old who man. fucking played it in a day because he's doing nothing but jerking off and playing Dark Souls 2. <laughs> and he said, okay, know, casuals man. won't like it. And you're like, motherfucker, bet I will. And you did. <laughs> You got me. All right. Here we yes, go. I did. Uh, <laughs> man, every time, next time somebody calls you casual, swat them. But just, but see, that's the thing. I can't catch them because they're always online. I always see it in the comment sections. This By game's way, not hard. This, I, I'm going to assume that this is the only context in which you do not enjoy the tag casual. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe another thing in which you will get fired up if folks, somebody comes to like, like, oh, no. Do you enjoy casual <laughs> drinking? <laughs> yes, I do. Casual, casual sex? sex? Yes. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> it's funny how you take casual. No, 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 no let, 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 let what Justin said marinate because that no, was pretty good. No, that it's was funny awesome. how you would lift casual out of the gamer category and put it in sex, and it all sounds. Oh, yeah. now you're a player. I, you know, you I love it then. Yeah. You're, you're oh, I love it then. Oh, love man. it then. Good. Me and casual sex, sure. Good observation. <laughs> like, like for me, for me, the worst thing is if casuals or if sex becomes like Farmville. If those are in the same category, I don't want anything to do with it. No. You just poke every so often, and then you're good. Cow see, mm-hmm. that's what I don't want to be confused with. Those fuckers who play Farmville. Or the ones who have sex with animals. Yeah, but, but you're willing to categorize your sex experience the same. Oh, you got damn right I am. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it's, it's, so for you, it's like, it's like, well, it's been three hours. I need to go uh, plant a seed oh, in order yeah. to, to grow just, a crop. Just don't call me a noob when it comes to sex. <laughs> right, no, I, I will not do ever do. Don't. That. 
No, but I tell I, I I will leave this right here. I would say when you when you go far in this game, you start beating shit. I, I'm beating bosses left and right. I feel like a confident motherfucker, man. I have this is my therapy right now. I have not had more of a confidence boost than playing this game and knowing that I can actually progress. Really? Because when I was watched you play the other day, you got your ass I'm handed better. to you. And you seem really sensitive right now about it. It's amazing that you are like showing that like this is your confidence builder. Like it, it was is. one of those where I, I wanted to tap you on the shoulder and say like, "Hey man, I'm here. Let's record." <laughs> but I didn't want you to leave getting punked the way you did. But see, like, Martin, that's your strategy. You see, you go in, you 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 play a, the strong guy. You try to beat a boss. You lose, but then you figure him out. You gotta die a few times to figure that shit out. Okay, you gotta so, go. So, off, so, you gotta like, go off into the woods. And get trained by seafood. No, 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 no. You just got to keep coming back. You got to keep saying, motherfucker, you ain't going to beat me. I got patience. That's what you got to have for this game. Patience. I'm telling you, it's a therapeutic game. You got to have patience. Perseverance. All right. It sounds, it sounds to me like sounds this like is like a, a casual. Yeah, it's, it's a therapeutic game. <laughs> Fuck you, you son of a bitch. Exactly <laughs> like a murder you, Brian, training let, simulation. Let me would recommend be this shit for people out That's there. That's what a noob would do. All right. this, <laughs> this game, you want to be successful in life? Play this game. It teaches, <laughs> it teaches you patience. It sounds like it teaches you rage. And, yeah. and uh, I'm not angry. Don't, I'm not don't, angry. Don't get a job. Don't, don't sharpen your skills. Play this game. Right. I'm not angry. I've, that, that's the thing. I would be angry, but this game taught me patience. <laughs> I know how to deal with shit like okay, you, that. Sounds like okay. That sounds like you just started a sentence with "I'm not racist, but <laughs> right." That's, 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 I'm not angry. It's always Brian, the best way to go. And, and honestly, I watched you lose your shit over something pretty simple the but, other day. So I don't know about that patience. What did that I lose my in? shit over? Uh, the backdrop. Because somebody was fucking up. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> See? Brian, I'm sorry. Go ahead. This shit was too real, right? Brian? You stepped into a hole. Brian, I am not racist. I just don't trust those Mexicans out there <laughs> who are cutting that lawn. I didn't hire them. When you like the confidence of knowing the people that you hired? Don't, hey, man, don't talk shit because they do I, a great job. I, I, all right. What are we? <laughs> all right, hold on. Okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all do know it's rude to be like whispering yeah. to each other yeah. while the rest yeah. of us are in here. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're talking to each other and shit. Are, it's, it's like being in his house where you got two girls talking yeah. Turkish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, with everybody else in the room who they know don't understand what they're saying. Goddamn lovebirds over here. <laughs> Put the camera on me. Is this why, why you got this goddamn shadow on my face? Why is this going? In, why? Why? Why am I? Hey, quit all this what goddamn white plotting over here. <laughs> You see, man, see. that's how this shit starts. I know. Next thing we, we next thing we know, we shackle on a boat. I know. I know. We. I'll put the drugs in. You give him the drink. I'll drag him on the boat. Yeah. You beat his ass when we get there. When, now, when, once we get him back, they paint my deck first. <laughs> yes. By, by the way, Justin Brian. just explained to me the rundown, and one of the segments was called "Fuck Around." Yeah. <laughs> In fact, we're leading with fuck around. Yeah, we're leading Wait with fuck around. Because we feel like... Oh, that's your TV that's fucked up. Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With okay. the dark shadow yeah, on your face. Yeah, I thought there was a shadow on my face. I was like, why are you doing this to me, man? Yeah, no, because we're ashamed of you. <laughs> why are you depriving we just want to shade. <laughs> Although, by the way, an <laughs> ominous dark shadow on a flat screen television seems like you could sell that pitch to Jason Blum for fucking uh, yeah, $20 million. Know, right? Especially when there's right? just a, a pair of eyes coming from the shadow and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Paranormal core activity. I, I know everybody loves Jason Blum, but it only, it it only appears on black people. <laughs> core normal. Like if you see one Jason Blum movie, you, you kind of seen them all. And here's here's the fucked up part about it is that like horror is such a beaten down fan base. Oh my god, it's it's a half just, step. Okay, here's the hierarchy. Damn, he you just have, cut you off, Jason. No, 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 I mean, Justin. No, no, this is me backing you up. Now? All right, first of all, there, there's porn. <laughs> there's wrestling, <laughs> then there's horror, yeah, and then uh, and then there's uh, I don't know Damon Wayans people who movies. watch C-SPAN, <laughs> yes. yeah, and, and then C-SPAN. Uh, no, yeah, it, it's like like in it, it's it's fucked up that even that it's it's referred to as like the genre like arts. It's like fantasy, sci-fi, and horror. Yeah, and horror is like the redheaded stepchild right. of the genre <laughs> fucking arts. It's like like sci-fi and horror like. Fucking, they have Lord of the Rings and Star Wars and Star Trek, big mainstream fucking like kind of shit. What the fuck does horror have? Horror what? shit. Any good horror Same calls shit itself time. fucking suspense. And here's Pretty the thing, much. Justin. Yeah. I I hate to you. It's one of those things where people hate for you to bring up race when it comes to horror movies because yeah. it's old. It's played out. I, yeah. I know because it keeps. Do I saw a horror movie tonight where 
white people found a demon in a girl and they took her to a haunted house. God damn. What's the only thing we haven't done yet? Yeah. We haven't run away. No, no. I mean, besides that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not lying about that. <clears throat> so wait. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It, I don't know. It, you, like, it just, I feel so sad because like, I have like a, a good friend of mine, Matt Finley, who writes a Cleveland movie blog. It's like he's, he's one of my favorite writers. I love I'm on that side all the time. Uh, well, I, you should actually check it out. It's actually really good. Well, you, you give me a line. Okay, by the way, yes. uh, between the lines, you're saying, fucking don't patronize me. Yeah, he's like, he's like, you lying, motherfucker. Fuck you. Right. In fact, it was really, it was barely between the lines. It was pretty much writing the line. No, no, that's my favorite website. <laughs> what, was what's, like, what's the URL again? <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, fuck it. That's an actual friend of mine, man. <laughs> he's a friend. Uh, but he's like he's like the biggest horror fan I know, and every once in a while I'll be like like I'll I'll like rattle off like three horror movies that I knew just peripherally like got decent reviews, like just weren't totally shit on, and I'm like oh so what about this this and this shit shit shit, shit. <laughs> and I'm like but yet he sees all of them he goes because wow. he's a horror movie okay. fan. Can I ask you a question? Yeah, three he's horror movies that he thumb. liked. Wait, that you liked? That no, he, three, that that he three, liked. Three, three right, he li- I would. I, I. I. don't know. I, I can't. I can't speak for him because I'm sure he'll actually have but like good ones that he liked. Oh no, 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 no. He would know him. I could fucking. I he could, knows them all. I can text them He's, now. Like, like recently. Okay, let me let me slim it he down. He not think you any then. are good. Like in uh, the last two years. See, I. I. I don't know. I, I, I don't know enough fucker. to know that kind of shit off the top of my head. He exactly. would be able to I mean, say... he's not my friend, friend. Yeah, he's like... <laughs> All you right. You this guy, you don't even know him, I man. mean, I, I don't like him anymore than I like Brian. Know. You know what? I'll, <laughs> say, I'll say this shit. Uh, what, last two years? Uh, I don't know. It was probably... Uh, fucking Cabins in the Woods was fucking yes. rad. That was great. Love it. Uh, very self-aware. Uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Love it. Very self-aware. Yes. And those are the only two I saw. See, <laughs> you only like horror when it's mixed with comedy. Well, no, or self awareness with the genre. Oh, you, you know, because like I actually liked Death Proof and uh, uh, the whole gra- hey, Fuck you, the Tarantino <laughs> thing. Yeah, Brian, yeah, yeah, I didn't even say anything. Yeah, you didn't have to. Uh, like everybody else has said something to you. In your eyes, I mean, that's what I, know, I, know, I, know, I Brian, needed. Brian, the only uh, thing there that is no, there about is no you. bigger Tarantino mark than me. Death Proof is a barely watchable movie. <laughs> no way! No Bruh, thing. All right, fuck Tarantino you. Barely says, watchable. I never want to make a movie like that again. And that's that's serious. That's okay, no well, bullshit. Well, well, oh no, off, yeah, no, no, no. He, he said, he said, he said. Listen, like this is my worst movie, but I figure if that is my worst movie, not a bad career. I'm still the shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If Brian footage, liked it. Have you seen Have you seen that footage of uh of of him like threatening to kick that paparazzi's mm-hmm. ass, like genuinely thinking he's no, gonna no, I'm not gonna hit you. I'm yeah. not gonna hit you. I fucking kick your ass down the streets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm Quentin Tarantino. I say the N word on movies. Yeah, uh, look, I, I, and, and I can puff my chest out and and you threaten I'm of you. whatever I, I want. I say the N word on movies is the <laughs> is the perfect impression of Quentin Tarantino. You, you see this okay, tango? I mean, I'm friends thing. with Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Like a lot of people say the N word, okay, but like what I do is say the N word on movies. <laughs> I've got a pass. Black people love two hundred times in I, one film. And keep in mind, I still love Quentin Tarantino. I, oh, I didn't. I wasn't crazy about his last three movies. I love him, but if I saw him today, I'd beat his fucking ass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> fucking thing he do about it. Yeah, I be. I wish he would put that shit. Not, hey man, I'll kick your ass down the street. Like no, you won't. <laughs> You ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. You might, you might get a slice in with your chin. That's man, about it. No, see the problem is say that if you can look around and see who could back him up. You, you know what? And that's the thing. You know, he got one guy who knows that he's got him on camera, and Quentin Tarantino ain't gonna hit him. Yeah, that, exactly. It wasn't no cameras there. He would have slapped the fuck out of Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Back when see, the problem Austin. is you, you, like, you actually try to get on him, right? And like, uh, get your hands on him, and he's got that coke sweat going so hard <laughs> that like your hands just slip off him like a grease pig. <laughs> <laughs> back when he was no living way, in Austin and leaving, and leaving b- unpaid bar tabs everywhere, oh, he wouldn't yeah. have said that. <laughs> yeah. I, and, and I love Quentin Tarantino, but for all the haters come okay, out, first of all, Quentin Tarantino. What is up with the fact that, that uh, why is that like the dam bursting? How come, how come I love Quentin Tarantino is like code for get ready for me to shit all over this motherfucker? I'll tell like, you what. All of you guys. I can answer that. Okay, go ahead. Because I don't want to be one of those people that seems like he's so famous now that I cannot appreciate the great things that he's done. Today, hands down, he's still one of the best dialogue writers out right. there. Maybe whole mm. movies don't work. Maybe whole scenes don't work. But you will find in his movies I mean, one scene where you, you would say nobody can do but what he did there. famous enough that you want to talk about how you kick his ass. 
Well, but no, no, but but, but it's because Damn, they made shit. It, yeah, no, it, don't it, try to put me on that. I'm saying, the <laughs> I'm saying, you know, if I call, I'm saying, yeah, you're saying, saying he's he does what nobody else can do. Then no, there's other people who can do that. No, I'm D- pit- David yeah. Mamet can, can write scenes like that. I, I, lo- I disagree. Oh, I yeah, love yeah, Quentin no, Tarantino. but it's a list of like three people, right? Like it's like David Mamet, Quentin Tarantino, and I'll leave a third unless like like one of y'all have something to like put in there. But like it's a short list of people that can write that kind of dialogue. The thing is with Quentin Tarantino, he's from a what guy we've that, seen, he's he's a guy that will no, sure he's got his followers yeah, no, now. No, no, uh, Brian's daughter Josie, I'm sure <laughs> can yeah. can't spell the yeah. word. <laughs> you, you know what? You, I, I'd much rather see a Django Unchained from her. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Quentin Tarantino has. His sycophants now. He's a cult. Yeah. He's a cult now, and that's why I have to. That, that's probably why I'm so aggressive when I talk about him. Because look, I love him, love the guy. I do. I don't like his last few movies, and I know there'll be an, another great one that I would love. But this, these last few works, let me explain to you what happened, and I'll make it quick. The problem is that he's fallen into the geek abyss. He's making movies for geeks now, re- regurgitating all this pop yeah, culture yeah, shit yeah. that people think he's a he's a fucking genius for. Where I'm like thinking, man, you did something really good with. Uh, Jackie Brown, and you don't go there anymore, man. I, I would go further God, to say Jackie that, so that, that all his best work was when he was partners with Roger Avery. That mm. that that was that was David Lee Roth and Eddie Van Halen. And, and nobody once, gives and Roger split, Avery enough credit, man. Oh, exactly. Oh, Granted, he oh, killed no. people. You no, know, no. In a car wreck. <laughs> <laughs> No, and in, in that Vanity Fair thing about Pulp Fiction, they fucking all but buried him. Like they they made him Wait, which guy an afterthought. Who? Who Roger Avery? Roger Avery. So yeah. so much of that is what he did. I mean, not if you ask. Quentin Tarantino oh, well, or the other people around. Yeah, yeah because well, history, is written, history is written by the winners. Yeah. And Quentin Tarantino won't tell you about the shit he stole until you ask him about it. Yeah. To oh, this shit. day, I'm still telling oh, dude, people. Oh, yeah, first of all, not even when you ask about it. you got to make a fucking accusatory documentary. Exactly. That fucking nails about, it to the wall. About yeah. Reservoir Dogs. Because <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. the whole thing. Like When, he, when he was asked yeah. about it, he's like, oh, I've never seen that movie. It sounds interesting. What's it like? Yeah, it's like. Bitch, it's please. Movie, but with slantier eyes. <laughs> kill this, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but the eyebrows seem more precariously placed. <laughs> till, till this day, I'm talking to people who pronounce Scorsese. Oh, I love Scorsese. Oh, really? And they ain't seen American Boy. And I'm like, oh, you love Scorsese? You love Quentin Tarantino? You know Quentin Tarantino got that bit, that whole first story with, uh, with uh, what's her name? Uh, Mia uh, Wallace. Uh, Mia Wallace, yeah, from American Boy. Have you seen American Boy? Uh, no, what, what is it? Yeah, exactly. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, and then you <laughs> kick their ass. And then I beat the <laughs> fuck out of them, man. <laughs> and then you're like, who knows more about movies, motherfucker? <laughs> thing is, that's and, the, and the right, <laughs> ironic thing is, it really is pronounced Scorsese. <laughs> I know. But I'm, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, 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 it's, but I'm not pretentious, you know. <laughs> I'm real. Scorsese. Okay, well, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Scorsese. Yeah, you, you just I, spent three minutes explaining how shitty other people are for not having watched a movie and then followed up with like, but I'm not the pretentious. <laughs> I'm not. Because I'll tell you in a minute. You could bust my ass right now. Please on some shit right like now. Just I'm right. not pretentious because I'm louder than you. That's, that's it. That's the only thing I got going for me. I got I got this beard making my ass drunk and a microphone in front of me. By the I, way, I, I feel like, I feel like this is like a drunk, loud uh, live stream version of double couples counseling between yeah. the four of us. He never which, listens which, to me. Which would be an awesome reality show. There we I go. TV, Double couples guns. Like shotgun that would be the shot, guns. That would be the show I would watch every week. Two barrels. Although, hey, uh, <laughs> real quick before we get into, we get off the fucking with Quentin Tarantino thing. He did just fucking totally back down like a bitch on this fucking hateful eight thing where he threw a big fucking fit about how he wasn't going to make the movie and he was just going to fucking print it as a book. Doesn't print it as a book. Does a live read. It gets his fucking case thrown out against Gawker, and now he's like, "Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do another draft, and then I'm gonna shoot it, it next change year." Change ending, yeah, yeah, because, yeah, probably because he couldn't get Roger Avery to write it for him. Oh, <laughs> oh shots I'm fired. actually, I'm, I'm so not on your side. Right, I, I, I love his. Can, can his I close last three with this? Yeah, I gotta let people know I ain't no child molester. <laughs> I, honestly, dude, the only people who have to let people know they aren't child molesters child are child molesters. molesters. <laughs> it's like, like when somebody says, "Like, look, I'm not a racist." Uh, yeah. like, yes, but you are. <laughs> you'll understand. Yeah. You'll understand, man. I just like to have parties with him and eat candy with him. I don't like to rape children and shit. <laughs> I just like to put it in the box. Yeah, I just like <laughs> you guys I just have a nice, colorful <laughs> band to do, play in. Do you guys remember those uh, the, like from from the old Saturday Night Live? <laughs> Buck Henry would do those skits where he was Uncle Roy, who would who would babysit the kids. And he'd be taking Polaroids of the little girls yeah. in their panties. 
<laughs> and like back then it was like a funny skit, but like now no, they would, today they, they would just never creepy. replay that. No, no, was, I, 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 I thought listening. it was creepy back then. <laughs> oh, oh no, it was totally creepy, but it was like creepy but funny. That, that was Chris Farley, right? That was <laughs> no, no, it was Buck Henry. It was Buck. Buck. Oh, that was back. That's some old yeah, shit. Yeah, old shit, like nineteen seventy five. That's right, because he had the Gilda Radner and uh, yeah, the, uh, the and, uh, Ranger, Lorraine Newman. And Lorraine Newman, and they were playing the underwear and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. okay, girls, all right, all right. You know what it'd be good? If you had a pillow fight, you yeah, yeah, I remember that shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was even a Buck Henry skit where he took, a, they did child abuse. A baby was crying, so he took the he took this baby doll out and, and took the, and on the side of the crib, he took the baby and just wrung his head on the side <laughs> of the, <laughs> on the bars. <laughs> shut up! Shut up! <laughs> So, so there was a, I was listening to a Penn July's podcast and he was talking about like so many of the episodes that they were on back in the 80s. Oh, he, yeah. He found out later that none of them could ever be re-aired because that, none of them would pass standards. Of yeah, that, 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 that's true. There's so many of those episodes from back then, like especially yeah, yeah. the Uncle Roy stuff that they would just never rerun. Because there's so many of those things that, that were funny at one time, and now the kind of crimes that, you know, there's witch hunts for. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, like, a Canteen Boy, like, rides the fucking line now. What is and, that? Like, Canteen Boy was Alec Baldwin and Adam Sandler, where oh, fucking, I'm... like, he was a predatory, like, uh, molesty yeah, uh, camp counselor. Yeah, yeah, but Boy Scout. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Boy Scout. And it's like, dude, I mean, like, and, like, like you'll still see, like, like oh, like, Adam Baldwin's great history as a Saturday Night Live performer, <laughs> like Canteen Boy. And I'm like, we're still talking about that shit? Like, it's funny? Like, like that's still, like, the hilarious LOL Adam Baldwin. God damn it, Alan if we Baldwin, can't laugh at child molestation today, then we don't live in a free world. But it's, it's funny how thing. something is funny at one time, and then, like, oh, no, society has all decided, like, we're demonizing that, so you can't laugh at it anymore. But, 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 well, but, then, but then sometimes things, you know, they go past a certain point where it's like, oh, wait. We're over that now. It's so funny again. Here's what you do: is you take the tropes from one cliche horrific thing, and but but do it in a different genre. For example, you have somebody who looks like a child molester, but <laughs> he's a racist, and then you have somebody who uses the N word a lot, but he's uh, genocidal. Like Brian. And then uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to take the heat off of it, man. <laughs> Everybody loves you, Brian. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, Brian. whoa, 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 whoa! Brian, Nini, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brian, can I say this? Brian, if you were a racist, people would actually love racist, man. That's how much I think so. That's how I love He's a lovable guy. I'm going to put that shit and, on and my and business You got to admit, like, there's nobody more Aryan looking than Brian. Hey, Brian, and yet you got we that still blonde love hair, him. man. Not according people to like Justin. You. Uh... What? Uh, I don't know. I was gonna be like, like, I'm not white enough. I'm too pink or some shit. He's oh, just gonna be like a, like no, a, no, like no, a, no, yeah, no. You no, know what? No, it was Brian, uh, set up uh, went nowhere. Man, Justin's straight up Hitler, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue. Hitler didn't have but blonde also hair. Put that on well, uh, business not, card. Not, not, Justin, not, is, Justin is, Hitler, is, is kind of a he's kind of a swarthy dude. I mean, yeah, you, exactly. I mean, you're, uh, you got to be what Spanish, Italian. What's going on? Straight up Hitler. dot com. All right, hold on. Armenian. Yeah. Uh, you don't know, which God means I get it. to make all those jokes. <laughs> God damn it. You, you, you rushed the bit. No, not really. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt. Oh, oh my God. God. conversation. Oh, my to God. To be joined by the Butter Brothers. Two brush words. Uh, okay. All right, get that other All right, you know what, Brian? It's, 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 right it's two brush wood in here. Brian, I'm, ta- I'm sorry. Right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, yeah, that's our word. Too much words. Words. I'm sorry to interrupt this caucus of the Urban League. No, what? You know what, bro? We have to talk that. about. That was boring shit. Yeah, no, oh, no, 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 no. It was great. <laughs> Entertain me. I'd like to talk about. Okay. Entertain me! Hey, entertain me guy. Do you, have you heard about Mail Route? No, I haven't. Tell me about Do it. Do you have an email? Uh, what's email? Do you like getting uh, uh, email? It's where electronic mail. You get it. In, uh, you get mail <laughs> in your uh, in your computer. I think my grandmother told me about that. I, you know, maybe I need to get with the times. Okay, you probably should. Uh, Brian, you, you want to tell them about mail route? Oh, my God. Like, here's the thing. First of all, there's a form of electronic communication. It's kind of like telegraphs, only faster. And you can send a telegraph, and it'll show up in your box. But turns out anyone could send you a telegraph. And it turns out some people continue <laughs> telegraphs for things that you're not interested in. And you mean I just don't get the stock exchange no, over the wire? No, no, even if that's what you want, people can send you information on products <laughs> and services that are of no relevance to you, right? We call it spam. 
in the 21st century, mm, right? Sounds delicious. Well, you would think so. <laughs> it's not actually. It tastes like the bitter death of uh, of the pain uh, and suffering of, of Mother Gaia. Uh, <laughs> it's made of Viagra, Cialis, and uh, uh, malware. And sounds like a good night in Vegas. Oh, that's what I took right before I came over here. So the important thing is, wouldn't you like, in this future, where telegraphs come to you at all times and places, and mm. you don't want them, what if somebody could block those unwanted telegraphs? Mm, blocking telegraphs and hopping in my lap? I mean, I don't, you really fucking wrote in that hopping in my lap shit, but like, uh, <laughs> sure, yeah, blocking telegraphs, let's stick with that. Yeah, uh, I would be interested in such a product. All right, well, what if you were able to do it with one easy low price, and all you had to do was edit your NMX record, and all of a sudden, no spam would show up in your face. You would have no unwanted telegraphs. <gasps> I, I might even go back to the Pony Express. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so well, now wait, you're on the so trolley. Can, well, now hey, we're, we're both on board. <laughs> Let's not take anything hasty. You don't need to go back to the Pony Express oh, okay. with Mail Route. So here's the, here's the deal. You go over to mailroute.net slash night attack, and you go ahead and sign up. They are a fucking super low-cost spam filtering service. That will make sure that you do not get an unwanted fucking errant spam shit in your fucking inbox. Even if you are a dirty motherfucker who's signing up for free porn fucking mailers every goddamn day, Corey. So I can surf my porn oh. and still not get spam? No! You can do anything you want. Spam is the universal condom that will allow you to have your dick be as dirty as possible and have no repercussions Wait, you, you, online. You mean, you mean mail route, right? Sure. Right, okay, all right. Well, dude, sign me up. Well, here you go. Go on over to mailroute.net. Put that mail route on my dick right now. Mailroute.net slash night attack. Uh, that is where you go. You can sign up right now. Uh, and, and really, just experience the truth. One to ten users, that's a $30 per user charge. Uh, like for for a, for a what like for ten, a year ten days? for a year Wait, I'm sorry for a year yeah thirty fucking dollars for oh, a I year oh I thought you meant thirty dollars a month for, no thirty dollars for a whole year a for year a year shit to have no fucking spam ever if, if I may quote one of our uh, great thespians well shit Negro that's all you had to say <laughs> <laughs> there we go Mero.net slash night attack uh, is where you need to go to make sure that everything is a okay not only in your inbox but also. Yeah. Yes, Jay. In your life. Wait, well, you you just reminded me. I and I wanted. I've been wanting to ask you guys about this movie. Uh, the, well, what can I you, can I just say this? What real did you quick? think of Captain America? No, like, Captain America is great. Can I just say we this? Love you, it. Do you call him Captain America? No, Captain. Oh, America. I'm not, hey, no, you're I'm not, not crapping on America. So, oh. You want to know what soothes Boo. the savage, savage beast? beast? Mail route. I mean, no, no. <laughs> Captain oh. America. Fuck those guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on to something real important. <laughs> Brian, I'm just saying, I'm scared of you, man. I'm scared of both of you guys. Like, for all the years I've talked shit to both I'll of you. I'll tell you what you should be scared of is the new uh, phenomenon sweeping America. The popular hip-hop craze that has all of our children enchanted in their spell. What's that? Ladies and gentlemen, what am I clicking on, Justin? <laughs> new shit! You don't need to click on anything, Brian! What? Leave it all to me, baby! Oh, shit, son! We got some new speech official mixtape, motherfucker! Oh, that's right. You know it. It's draw ass speeches put together with hip hop beats. Two o'clock on th Thursday afternoon. That means it's time for history's greatest speakers and history's dopest beats. Shit, motherfucker, you know I got some shit to drop on you right now. You know what? I love both you I didn't see that the Richard Feynman, motherfuckers! I didn't want it. I Surely you're joking! Knew right away I didn't want to catch to figure out how Richard Feynman, one of history's it, greatest like physicists, creator of it, the algorithms uh, we use to understand quantum uh, they realize after a few moments. You're crazy for this one, it, Rich! It would make more publicity than... than oh, oh a shit! Big shot you definitely figured out what caused the, the, the challenge of disaster! You don't want that either. And what I think is the solution to this is that they should at least have the courtesy. I mean, the Swedish Academy. 
when they you choose somebody, the to call him up quietly. Just like you worked quietly. on my heart. <laughs> and you offer him the prize. A nuclear if he doesn't explosion. Want it, he can heart. then say no, and there'll be no publicity because nobody. But you want to know what, motherfuckers? Sometimes some shit gets a little bit real. Oh yeah. <laughs> you need somebody's gonna drop some real science on you. <laughs> I got that ass style remix, huh? <laughs> 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 shit, I heard that shit was hot on the streets. Let me introduce you to a motherfucker that might not need no introduction. L. Ron Hubbard! Put your hands in the air if psychiatry's alive! What? That's that real shit right there, Ryan. Put your hands in the air if Zeno makes you die. Run over everything. The But you want to know what, Brian? What's up? I know some shit got raw between us earlier in the show. Yeah. But I got something for you. What you got? You want to know what? What? We're all about dropping bombs here on this mixtape. We had Richard Feynman yeah. invented the bomb. L. Ron Hubbard yeah. told us about Xenu dropping bombs. <laughs> <laughs> to 40 million souls inside a volcano. But you want to know what? What? Only one motherfucker had the money bomb. Red Happening. They didn't like the role of the government under the king. They said the role of government Wait, should be is different. That, is so that the Ron Paul or Rand Paul? Ron Paul. Or Paul Ryan. It's I, happening, I all motherfucker! Strong national defense. The role for the government ought to be given us a sound currency, not a bunch of stupid people to have monopoly of the money supply and the interest rates. That's not in the Constitution. If you got washed out in 2008 and 2012, <laughs> say yeah. Brian, you scared the fuck out of me tonight. You straight up gangster, man. I know. I ain't gonna ever fuck with you again. His science is too tight. I ain't ever got shit to say about you, Brian. I'm scared of you, man. <laughs> That's it for the speech official mixtape. Oh, shit, son. Stick around. Traffic and weather together on the fives. Coming up, 1059 The Catch. Faking gay in the mornings, kook of the races, badger afternoons. What if I'm not the cats? <laughs> Science is too tight. Hey, Brian, tell me when to shut the fuck up. I never want to step on a bit because no, you beat the dude, fuck out of me. I know. You're joining the bit. No, I hell no. I do not want to get dressed up. I ain't ever fucking with Brian again. Hey, all right. So we're, all right we're, we're, here, hold on. Uh, Jay, you are the only one. Give Jay the monocle. Where, where's the monocle? Give Jay uh, the monocle. Oh, he's, he's got the glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, got, he's got the cop glasses. Oh, he's got a, not anymore. Roberto, how you doing over there? You look good. You're doing all right? I saw you a little uncomfortable earlier. Nah. You Are you good? sure? Because, yeah, Roberto, you, you, you were looking really uncomfortable. Because I know you love you know, both factions. My, my old job, Brian. All right, so here's the deal. Normally what we have is a segment called Diamond Time on the show. The Diamond Club is our yes. fan base. Ah, yeah. They all have shit going on. Okay. Yeah. Okay, on. Jay, this is where you got to go. Whack, 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 whack. Yeah. No. Hold on, Jay, Jay, wait. Let me, let me set up the bed. Uh, exactly. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll interview you. I, I, I have to, hold on. Let, wait for it. Hold on. I have to tell the story. Jay, right, what you have to do is on. shut the fuck up <laughs> until it's your turn to do your Damn. part of the bit. Just hold right. on. Hold on. Sit down. Sit down. God damn it. There you go. All right. It's like it's like if, if Batman Returns was made on CMT. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh. Nice job. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're right, Brian. You can you cannot do this show yeah. without justice. <laughs> Get rid of My old boss. She's All right. <laughs> Oswald Cumberbatch. <Cumberland. laughs> All right. Ah. Now here's the deal. We have a segment called Diamond Time. Oh, Diamond Time is where everybody man. gets. Uh, their plugs in. So since normally what we do is we have uh, top hats and monocles ourselves, and yeah. we do the diamond time right. rundown. You that, uh, yeah, that's Jay, I'm you're the only one with the top hat and monocle, so you got to read what the highlighted uh, box is. There, right there. Okay. So wait, wait. First, read what the title is, and then read what, <laughs> what it says there. This is a game punting con- podcast. The what? Game punting podcast. I heard something different. All right, go ahead. <laughs> 
Yes. Listen to the Game Punting Podcast about crowdfunded tabletop games. Each week, we take a look at the most interesting new crowdfunding campaigns for board games, card games, and miniature games. Find us on iTunes at gamepunting.squarespace.com. Well, I definitely went to the wrong place because I just clicked some shit and it's like, we've detected you're from the USA. You can't come here. Yeah. <laughs> game? Nah, you have to be from the penguin world. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Game, wait, ah. gamepunting.what? Squarespace. Uh, gamepunting.squarespace. Uh, no. Man, those guys are good. I just want to let y'all know, I love you both. And I, I don't want to be split between two homes. I love you too, man. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Uh, diamond time number two. All, all right. right. Uh, the, uh, our second uh, entry here uh, is the Star Wars Report Podcast. Oh, this is a good one. The Star Wars Report is a blog and podcast dedicated to covering and discussing the latest Star Wars news. Losers. What? Are, are you, are you down nice. on that? Yeah, man. The latest Star Wars news? Oh, they're making a new movie. That's the news. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, come on. Wait a minute. The set, wait, hold on. Wait. The set like, is a green screen. You guys, you guys are more into the, the podcast element of movie coverage. But, like, you do understand that, like, the second that Disney bought Star Wars and announced it they was, were making more movies. It was movies, a new hope. It was a, like, billion-dollar uptick in, like, movie rumors. All right. All right. All right. Let me say this. Let me say this. You know what? That's cool. We heard that shit six months ago. Yeah. <laughs> we were excited six months ago. Don't don't buy this bullshit. Don't be sucking that Disney dick right now. The, Justin. the greatest news to <laughs> me let, was let, that. Let, let me tell you this. Sold it to but Disney. Adam Driver might be somebody in a thing and wear a robe. Who gives a shit? The thing is, 10 years, and I'm being conservative, 10 years before the prequels came out, I had people going like, uh, George Lucas is going to make a new one. He's really starting on it. I'm like, okay, it'd be nice if he was doing something different. But okay, that's fine. For ten years, I had every nerd. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Ah, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pause, pause, Who's pause, running pause. this thing? Hold pause, this. Pause. Pause. Hold okay. Hold no, this. I'm not holding. No, your no, no. We got to continue with the, our report. I already took shit from one. I'm not <laughs> doing it from both. <laughs> <laughs> Ten, uh, ten years, no, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Every nerd giving me every little bit of news they ever heard. Yes. And to like to the point, I got sick of it, and then finally the movie came out. And it was the Star Wars prequels, and they were shit. They were. Yeah. So at this point, I'm but like, I don't want to hear jack shit until I see a, an actual movie that I can go watch. Okay, point of order, though. You said, I wish George Lucas was doing something different. Post Red Tails. Can you really still say that? Here's, 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 <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Red, play, red, play red, 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 red Tails, not, not, not a good movie at all. But it's not Star Wars. Justin. It is not Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, just just, Even every, though it tries to be at times. Every week, sure. I, every week I'm hearing some shit. We might be casting somebody. Yeah. We, we're getting ready to start. Oh, shit. There's episode seven coming. You know, goddamn, man. I know about this already. Yeah. Every week is some non-news about exactly. Star Wars. <laughs> Thank you. Non-news. And to be honest. Every, every, you know what? Every week we might be doing something. Yeah. When y'all going to be doing something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. New news. Harrison Ford is not going to be in it. Maybe. Uh, 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 maybe. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. He might be. He might not be. Where you gonna get a hey, Justin right now? I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna yeah. laugh at your ass if you don't give us some real concrete news where they say we are doing this. Sure. Oh, Wait, you're gonna God. laugh at my ass if I don't tell yeah, you because Star Wars news? Yeah, I, because I just, you're close to one. Wanna, I just wanna point I'll, out. I'll actually I'll tell you. I had a friend of hey, mine wait, wait, talking wait, to JJ Abrams quick. saying he was scouting locations. Oh my god. Real quick, real quick. I just wanna point out that on this website there's God damn it! Send a voicemail. There's a voice send a voicemail to Star Wars Report. You want me to press start recording on this for you guys? No, yeah. why you doing this shit, Brian? <laughs> you you above this shit, Brian. Saying, why you do this? If you got all right, if you yeah, got yeah. Part of the hey, listen, plan. Listen, ah. please, as, as Brian so often tells me, if you're really feeling froggish, leap. Hey, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Tell him for me. Shut it down until the movie <laughs> oh, comes shit. down. All right, fine. Hey, you I know what? I disagree. For the record, I think it's great. If for no other that reason. That is StarWarsReport.com slash Night Attack. Okay, Let everybody so, know that you were going there, by the way. Is, is nobody going to admit that J.J. Abrams' second Star, Star Trek movie was kind of eh? Hey, I loved Way it. Way better I than the prequels. It. I oh, loved I'll be, it. I'll be yeah, delighted dude. by a Star Wars movie. That hey, is hey that. Brian. Wait, hold on. You. Brian, can I do, can put the camera on me? Can I do your Star Wars news right now? Oh, shit, son. All right, here I got, I got uh, some news. No, no, yeah, yeah, we got, we got some. Exclusive, ready, exclusive Star Wars hey, news. We got, we got, we got, right, real quick, let's hey, play. Yo. Wait, 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 hold on. Ready? We have that. Wait. Something uh, might be happening. <laughs> ladies and no, gentlemen. No, you can add your news right there. Wait, oh wait, oh 
you, you, you didn't wait. <laughs> no, you, can't, gonna drunk, do it. you can't wait on me. All right, that's fine. All right. I'm that's a force a, unleashed. All right, look. You know that fucking Star Wars <laughs> game. <laughs> you? And that, that, that actually yeah. would have been a good Star Wars game. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Just one one quick Star Wars tidbit from Corey Coleman. Go Ladies ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, we're live ready? with yeah. our Star Wars Night Attack report. It's Corey Coleman. J.J. Abrams in Disney has said, Somebody might be casted somewhere in a script that might be happening at some time. What? <laughs> Yo, Star Wars news, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, Star Wars reporting, night attack style, 105.9 The Cats. Oh, Traffic weather breaking news. Fives. Corey Coleman might be uh, casting the next Star Wars movie as, uh, what's that, what, uh, Billy, we Billy D. Williams Jr. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be a cat <laughs> called Billy D. Williams. <laughs> I think you should be Biddly Williams. I like that one. Biddly, Biddly uh, Williams. All right. And <laughs> our, that's Buck Rogers. Our last Biddly, diamond Biddly, time. Biddly, Biddly, Biddly Williams. Biddly, all right, Biddly, yes. Biddly Williams. Uh, Buck. Uh, hey, uh, excuse me, Batman. Uh, uh, Drunkers Call Podcast. The what? They are a podcast that drinks heavily, destroys the news, and discusses how so to support your 132-pound ball sack. Is that ours? This is a valuable service to everyone. You can see them at drunkencall.libsyn, <laughs> L-I-B-S-Y-N, dot com, a double slash com. R-S-S. <laughs> That's drunkardscall.lisbon, dot <laughs> com, slash R-S-S. Everybody, let's give a round of applause. Yeah. 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 Shit, you know what? Well, I, I, I'm about to head out in a little bit, man, but all I got to say is... I'll be right I'm back. Glad, I'm glad you sobered all the way up and you're 100% sober. I'm not fucking... Uh, yeah, I'm sober. That's why I'm... For the I'm sake of recording. Yes, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So listen, Brian. I'm glad that on the re that's on the record. It is on the record. I am sober and I am I can drive capably. Which is why you're speaking from the heart, as a sober man would. Yeah. As a sober man would. Soberman. Corey Soberman. No, sober man. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I, li I like that way you tried it's to German. scare me off. <laughs> Speaking from the heart, yeah, I'm sober. Yep, I've had a couple of beers here, a couple, which means two. It's it's two. It's, yeah, it's do two. your math. <laughs> the best way to explain how sober you are is to go over and over and over how many <laughs> drinks you've had. And no, also you to need explain to. what a couple means. You know what? For editing's sake. <laughs> yeah, all right. I've had two beers tonight. I'm good. Now, I mean, if, I, if, if we're editing, let me just fix the shot a little bit. Well, we'll uh, you know, some of those were yours too. <laughs> but Brian. I want to say this to you, man. Yes. I have to say, and this is, I'm very serious about this. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. You have. Man, Martin looks great. <laughs> Jesus, Martin, what happened, man? I got scared. Yeah. <laughs> man, you pissed the black off of you, man. <laughs> that, that water must have looked like cocoa when he was done. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it. That's a show. I got scared. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All right. This is amazing. I'm going to kill Tracy Oldman. Go oh, home. Oh, God damn Go it. Go home. Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> <laughs>